Yes, welcome to the next Solo Tech video tutorial. Um, for today's episode, I will be changing the motherboard on my Dell D6. Latitude D620. So, of course, I purchased the replacement parts on eBay. Yes, I purchased the replacement part on eBay. Now, instead of buying just the motherboard, I of course just purchased the entire bottom piece here. So it is already put together. So the processor already in place, the motherboard already in place, the fan. Now, of course, it don't come with a DVD drive, but I will be removing the old one and put it into this one so it's just for me to transfer just a few things there is no memory so I'm just going to transfer all those parts that don't come with the bottom piece so I'm going to remove the memory from the old one put it in the new one here <coughs> so memory is perfectly in place right so I'm gonna remove the Wi-Fi adapter no transfer it to new one to ensure that it is clean perfect so the Wi-Fi adapter is in uh, the DVD drive, I'm going to slide that in also, perfect, I'm right, so just checking to see that everything is transferred, now of course it comes with a built in speaker, CMOS battery, just transfer the memory. So that seems to be pretty much it. Keyboard, of course, I'll be using my old keyboard because there's nothing wrong with the keyboard. Control panel also I'll be using it. And of course, the screen is up and running. Uh, the R drive. Of course. I'm going to remove the I'll drive from the old unit. Alright, so this is the R drive. Just need to tighten them. Alright, so that should give me enough space to insert the R drive. R drive perfectly fit in. Of course, once everything is okay, then I will put on, I will put on the cover there. So everything seems okay, ready to go. Next thing for me now is to install the screen.
it's not no um starting out the Wi-Fi cable ensure that it is run weekly so it does not get damaged whenever I'm closing or installing the keyboard getting the connector part of the cable to fit over the mail part there now it is <coughs> that one is on now we need to get this going down this direction That one seems to be okay. Now this cable for the screen. It goes right there. Fit in perfect. Now across here now <coughs> have a next end for the Wi-Fi. <coughs> that fit perfect. You swear. An extra wires for the Wi Fi adapter. I think the where these extra wire for a second Wi Fi adapter which can be installed in this section there. Now you have to be very careful. This you have to ensure that it is tape and you don't want it to browns on anything whenever you close up the unit so I'm wrapping a piece of tape <coughs> around it so that is perfect Next thing to install now is of course my keyboard. Get this blue piece up. Right, it is in. Secure the key by clipping that blue piece there. Sure that the keyboard is lined up properly. Something seems okay. Cable there. That seems to fit okay. <coughs> now 
I will be giving the unit some power. Check if it is powering up. <coughs> right, so it is pouring up now. So actually get it power up. Turn so you can see it as you can see it is lighting up right side is pouring up <coughs> so keyboard is now secure now I'm gonna put on this front panel piece now cover the inches and of course the power button fit in perfectly power button these buttons ensure that they are selected in terms of your feeling it as if it is touching the connector on the motherboard so it is touching that one now the screen I need to secure the screen hinges by replace by actually installing the screw on the back here somehow got these two mixed up but I've been doing this for years so once I locate a screw you can pretty much say that yes that screw can fit seem like a fine one here so securing the inches air back on to the side here all right so the screen is secure now from the back there so what I'll be doing now I'm gonna install the battery now this customer um, battery actually went bad so of course I also purchased a replacement battery I pay about $17 for the battery on Amazon so this is a brand new battery fitting perfect cover for the memory card here Using. <coughs> so I'm going to install Windows 7 so guys please stay tuned as soon as I finish installing Windows 7 here then of course I will show you the system up and running <coughs> 